if you're like me, you look at that forecast, you go, okay, this afternoon is the day I need to get my run in. Mm -hmm. But the question is, when you get up at 1.30 in the morning, you're tired. What do you eat before workout and maybe after workout to, to make it most beneficial? Teresa Wing uh, from YMCA of Greater Rochester joining us with some ideas, and they smell delicious too, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> so let's start with before a workout. So before a workout, your muscles need um, carbohydrates to um, be able to function and, and do a good job with your workout. So definitely um, snacks that have carbohydrates in them, and all of these do. Okay. Um, the fruit and yogurt and granola on top is, is probably the best bet. Um, and this is all presented in a lovely presentation mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. forth. But if you don't have time to make, the, make it like this, you can... Um, just grab the fruit and the yogurt and, and even something like a go-gurt and go. Um, the banana oat um, cookie is, mm. and it's not necessarily a cookie, there's very little sugar in it, but it has oats and peanut butter and um, banana in it. So mm -hmm. that's another way to get the carbohydrates. And then the pumpkin apple um, bar is uh, another one that is full of carbohydrates. So okay. we're all gonna May get I? I have yeah, sure. I've had some of these, but I have to try All right, this I'll try one. this. I, I, will, I will say <laughs> research, research. advice on what not to have is uh, my first 5K ever, my freshman year of high school, I ate an entire banana five minutes before the race. Yeah. You want good? It was. It tasted delicious <laughs> uh, both times. <laughs> so. Uh, gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. Um, <laughs> No, but this is, so uh, when should you, uh, I'm getting to this question, <laughs> should you, should you eat this stuff not like right before you run? Should it be like, what, a half hour before? At least, yes, that would probably be a better, um, <laughs> okay. to, to give it a chance to get, clear your, your stomach and get, get to those muscles that you need. Absolutely, sounds good. So now after the run, uh, you're, you just get home and you're thinking, I got to fill up. So that's when you're going to want to make sure that you also get some protein to rebuild what may have been broken down when you were um, doing your, your physical activity. All of these have protein components. The, um, choc this has chocolate in it, so chocolate peanut butter oat, um, and these are non-bake, oh. are um, a nice thing to have after after you finish your workout because you um you're getting that protein okay now mm -hmm. we say have after how many because i'm like oh <laughs> you know i'll have one or 19 you, you know? just ran <laughs> exactly <laughs> i just ran it worked it off so you're always going to look at the recipe and um understand what the serving size is um we all have a, a certain amount of protein that we need over the course of the day so it's kind of looking at your big picture oh, and, okay. and kind of knowing what that is and and what your training is if you're training and, and doing a 5k versus a marathon mm -hmm. so um those are some of the things that you would would consider before you would decide how much of um each of the servings of each of the, the types you would have when it comes to granola i know there can be a source of a lot of maybe secret sugar Yes. Um, in terms of working out, when you're searching for a granola, is there some things you should look for or avoid? So with the workout, if, for the pre-workout, you want to get those carbohydrates. So the sugar is not necessarily um, a, a bigger deal if you, if you want to get those quick carbohydrates. Okay. But overall, you're wanting to look for lower sugar. Lower sugar would be about 8 grams per serving or less. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, how about to drink? A water, water, water is always the best. <laughs> okay. Um, you want yep. to stay hydrated. It's important um, if you're doing longer, like an hour or more, that you rehydrate with some of the, the beverages that have carbohydrates in them, so like a Gatorade or something like that. But if you're doing a 5K, probably water to stay hydrated is going to be sufficient. And I have to think for diabetics, too, you have to be careful because a, a drink like uh, Powerade or Gatorade has a lot of sugar in it. Yes. So in your when you are when you're a person with diabetes, the things that you're going to have to take into consideration are definitely your blood sugar before yes. you're getting your physical activity, what medications yeah. you're on that can bring your blood sugar down. Uh, physical activity brings your your blood sugar down, right. so you're going to need to watch out for that. Too. All, right. All good stuff. Thank and you so much. Research, right? Yeah, right. Research. Mm. You know, Just going to avoid that five k. <laughs>